what's going on guys? Top of the morning to you. Off your ass, on your feet. Out the shade, in the heat. Anybody that know my grandpa, man, Danny Davis, that was his fa favorite scene. Shit, when the goddamn for the sun come up, he had a whole house up ready to go to work. Man, I miss that man. But anyways, I uh, I woke up this morning because, uh, you know, I'm at work. And I watched a show last night. I ain't gonna say no names. And the brothers was having a very, very deep intellectual conversation dealing with the Bible. Now, I know that's a touchy subject for a lot of us. Me, I, I have no problem with it. I understand the story. I understand it, you know. But living here in Texas, the Bible Belt, man, we missed out on a lot of information. We've been misled. We've been misinformed. You know, we can propose the question that we were absolutely taught the Bible wrong. What do you mean by that, Luck? Well, what I mean by that is, who's taught a book what's inside the book before you even know who wrote the goddamn book? Excuse my French. Or who translated the book? Or where the origins of the book come from? Or are some of these characters around? Can they be validated? Well, here in Texas, in my family, I have a big Christian family. No knock to them. I love them all. You know, little misled, but, you know, hey, to each his own. You know, follow what you follow. But facts are facts. You can't get around that. And if I issue this challenge to any one of you to answer this question, Is the devil more holy than the saints? What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is, if the devil don't have free will, and we can all agree, and I'm hoping one of y'all jump out the window and say something crazy, then I'm going to go into scripture and give you where you can go find. Right now, I'm just giving you a little bit of substance of what I was fed last night. So I'm not going to act like this was an original thought from me. It wasn't. You know, it was just a very very, very interesting intellectual conversation that I embarked upon that I woke up with it on my mind. But anyway, the reason why I say that, I would say that the devil gets a bad rap in all of this. Lucky, you sound stupid. Okay, well, let me prove my point. Number one, God created the devil for a specific reason, to be his hitman. What do you mean his hitman? The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But if you read the Bible, those are the three things that God say he do. God says, I heal, I kill, I make alive. This is what God said. And how can I prove that? The devil can't do anything. And any of you out there, they know this. They know in the book. I'm talking strictly from the book. I'm not talking about your private interpretation and, oh, you got to get into the language and, oh, it don't say that and it ain't supposed to have a dot, you know. This is the Hebraic script and this is the Greek and the Latin. Man, look, man, cut that shit out. I'm talking about the goddamn English version of the King James Bible that y'all read. Okay, I can prove my point that number one, if there was a war in heaven and God kicked the devil's ass out, right? Everybody will agree with that. That's the story we've been told. I will be lying and say that I've read that in the Bible. I didn't read that. I'm not going to say it's not in there. I'm just telling you that's a story that I was told. That there was this huge war and God kicked the devil out of heaven. Oh, okay. Well, you read on a little further. Well, goddamn, lo and behold, God is having a meeting. And guess who strolls in? The devil. God didn't command a thousand angels to get him and, you know, and hold him. And no, God asked him a question. Hey, where you be? What the devil say? Shh, just going back and through the earth to see who I could devour. Man, this shit here, the next part just blew my mind. 
This is what made me question my intellect on all of this shit. It made me question, not the walking on water, not the talking snake, but what made me question all of the, the validity of it, of the story. Well, when God made a bet with the devil about Job, God asked him, well, have you considered my servant Job? Now, wait a minute, God. God damn, hold on, brother, hold on. You telling me you going to send your best just to prove a point to a motherfucker that you kick out of the kingdom. Now, anybody that's got any type of common sense or any intellect capability could just reason. Reason the logic, man. Think about it. Number one, who was there to tell this story in a book. Who did God come to and told them this story? Number two, we gotta get away from this childish type of thinking, man. I think all of us have missed the moral of the story. The Bible offers up excellent resources to, to how can I say, apply certain, uh, 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 a plan, I guess, and so to speak, attributes. You know, the Bible has a lot of great information that you can apply to your life. But it also has unicorns, talking donkeys, talking snakes, walking on water, a man gets swallowed by a goddamn fish, but none of us don't want to talk about these things. And I asked these brothers, you know, that I deal with, I ain't gonna put them out there just yet, but I ask them all the time, brother, what is the difference between a Harry Potter movie and the Bible? Damn, Lucky, you sound stupid, you jumping out the window. Nah, man, I'm asking an honest question. What is the difference? The Bible has dragons, unicorns, a uh, 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 beast. It has all of these things that you see in the movie. Could it have been that since the Roman Catholicism took over and imprinted their impressions on the Bible, could that be a part of? I don't know. I'm just I'm just posing the question. Is the devil more righteous than the believers? Some of you gonna say, hell no. I'm gonna tell you you a goddamn lie. Because, number one, the devil know God's real, according to the story. He can only do, number two, what he's allowed to do by God. He can't do nothing else. But wait, God gives you a free will, according to the, uh, 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 the Hebrews, the Christians, that God gives you a free will to pretty much do, you know, choose your path. Well, I would ask y'all a question. How the hell... And I don't believe my creator said none of this, but I'm gonna entertain it anyway. How the hell can God give you a free will with goddamn commandments and rules, man? A free will means you got you can do what you want to. God can't give you a free will then punish you because you didn't want to follow his goddamn rules. That sounds stupid. That's not a free will. But I'm not gonna go too deep in this. I just wanted to make me a quick video. I had that on my mind, man, and I thought that was an interesting conversation. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications out, man. Let's get these algorithms rolling, man. And once again, off your ass, on your feet, out the shade, in the heat. R.I.P. to my grandpa. Love, Nene Davis.